So just another quick video showing how you can uh, combine, for instance, your shader and your camera uh, on, the, on the output when you broadcast, and also how you can broadcast to several destinations at once. So I, out, out here I have, uh, over here I have a, a, an audio track loaded, and since it's an audio only track, I want to put shader on top of it. So I play it, and I start the shader, like that. Don't need that, that's fine. And the, the, the output window looks like that. So that's, that's what I'm gonna broadcast, right? And it's set to say, change the shader. But when I do that, and I look at the drop down, there's no camera here. On the master effects. So, so how do I get that to be there? Well, that's a little trick. If you actually switch to dual source mixing, like that, then all of a sudden you do have the camera over here. So you can sim simply go into its settings, like that. Just bring it over here. And you can switch between different cameras. That's the integrated one, and one the external one that's pointing towards the keyboard right now. Normally that would be my controller. You can change the opacity, whatever I want. Into the position. Say, so, well, I want it to be in the top right corner instead. Maybe over here or whatever. Yeah, I want it in the top right corner. Let's say that. So, like that. And I can turn it on. So now I have my camera. Hi, hi. You can see my hand moving. It would normally be a controller, now it's a keyboard. So, uh, I have my camera up here. And it's it's a bit see through, so you can see the, the shader uh, underneath. That's fine, I'll shut that off. that and then I'll actually bring this back to being simple video. The camera is still going to be there as long as you don't switch the, the drop down so you still have full control. So now I still have exactly the same, my controller hands on top of this on top of this shader here. So that's my output and then of course there's a little video skin down here. Um, this could be done in a million separate ways. You could do it uh, scripted, you could do it another mode that was what you just saw or you can maybe use another skin but this is a little trick if you can't find the camera and you want to do this like that another other thing i wanted to mention was uh, was broadcasting it so if i go to the broadcast pane and settings here move this over a little bit you can see right now it's set up to send to a radio server and that would indeed be possible just start the track again maybe um but right now I'll send it to the podcast section over at Virtual DJ, so it gets uh, put there uh, as a podcast. So I start the podcast. So that's running and uploading uh, continuously. But then I also want to send a video output at the same time because I'm doing video, right? So I go into the video one, and I've set up a, a Twitch stream with a, a stream key here, and I start my broadcast, and that doesn't turn up the podcast one. So you can see it actually is sending to two sources here. If I, for instance, the, the, so you can actually see here that it's sending to two sources. So that's a, an easy way to send to two sources at the same time with the camera, for instance, on top of the shaders like this. So that was it.